Alright guys, so today we are going to talk about clocks. There are two types of clocks that you can look at. The one that's most difficult would be this type, which is an analog clock. You also have a digital clock, which would look like this. And this one's pretty easy because it just tells you what time it is. With an analog clock, there are two hands on this clock. One of those hands is the hour hand. The other one is the minute hand. Now, to help you tell the difference between the hour and the minute hand, you can think of the word hour is shorter than the word minute. So the hour hand on the clock is the one that is shorter. The minute hand is the one that is longer because the word minute is longer than the word hour. That's just a trick to help you remember. So the hour hand, whatever number it's on or in between, you're just going to tell me what that number is. So if it's right here, it's in between the 12 and the 1, but it is still 12 o'clock. It will not be 1 o'clock until the minute hand has gone all the way around and it is directly on the 1. The minute hand is a little bit different because the minute hand, you don't tell me it's 101 right now. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minutes between the 12 and the 1 for the minute hand. So it is 105. Now I'm going to move the minute hand around. And as I move it around, I want you to pay attention to what's happening to the hour hand. Do you notice that it is very slowly moving towards the 2? That is because once that minute hand gets back up to the top, it is 2 o'clock. So as I'm going around the clock, it's going towards the next hour. We're getting closer and closer and closer to the next hour, which is now 3 o'clock. So we have 3 o'clock, 305, 310, 315, 320, 325, 330. I'm going to stop there for a second. Notice that the hour hand is right between the three and the four. It's halfway between. That's because the minute hand has gone halfway around the clock. So we have 330, 335, 340, 345, 350. Now, this is what starts to confuse a lot of students. This hour hand looks like it is on the four. So a lot of you are going to want to say, oh, it's 450, it's 450. But that would not be correct. It is still 3 o'clock. It is 10 minutes, 5, 10, until 4 o'clock. So it is not 4 o'clock yet, so it cannot be 450. Instead, it is 350. We have 355. Again, it looks like it's there. It looks like it is on the 4. But it's not 4 o'clock yet. If it was 4.55, it would look like the hour hand is on the 5. Because right now there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minutes Oops, until it is going to be 5 o'clock. That's why it looks like it is the next hour. So anytime you see the minute hand, really, here you can kind of tell it's not directly on the 6 yet. Once you start getting up to 45, 50, and 55, whew, it's going to look like it is on that hour. But you need to think, if it's 655 or even 650, that means it's almost 7 o'clock, so the hour hand is going to almost be on the 7.
I need you to remember that. Think about it. Think about whether it makes sense or not. So I have a few clocks that we're going to look at. So here is our first one. We have, remember, our hand is the shorter one. The minute hand is the longer one. So right now the hour hand is on the 12. The minute hand, we have to count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So right now this clock is showing us 1245. 1245. Let's look at another one. I actually don't like this clock too much because if it's 12.45, that means it's getting close to 1. So I think really the hour hand should be about right there because in 15 minutes, 5, 10, 15, it's going to be 1 o'clock. So I don't like that clock too much. I might actually switch back to my little clock here so we can do some different times. Let's see. Let's do this time. So first we're going to look at the hour hand. It is not at the seven get, so that means it is still six. Then we have to count five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So right now it is six, twenty-five. Let's try another one. Let me move this around. Do this one. All right, again, our hand first is not at the nine yet, so it is still eight is the hour. We have to look at the minute hand. Five, ten, fifteen. So it is eight, fifteen. Let me try to give you a tricky one, see if we remember what I said. All right, hour hand first. Now, it looks like this hour hand is right on the 10, but you still have five minutes before it's gonna be 10 o'clock, which means the hour is still nine. So now we have to count our minutes. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. It is 9, 55, which means in that last five minutes, it's going to be 10 o'clock. All right, we'll do one more. We'll do this right here. So again, look at your hour hand. It's between the 12 and the one. It's not on the one yet, so it's not one o'clock. It is still 12. Let's count our minutes. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it is 1230. That minute hand has gone halfway around the clock, which is why the hour hand is halfway between the 12 and the 1. All right, guys, I hope that that was helpful. I know you've been practicing in your packets, but I'm hoping that this video will help some of you if you're struggling or having a hard time. I will be back later with some videos on shapes.